off today, but it's okay. It happens. We're going to work you through it. We've been gone for a few days trying to get back into the rhythm of it. Uh No better way to get back into the rhythm of it than by playing this. That was Von Coito, the voice. Now, hold on. Yeah. Uh, mm. Our player guest today, yes. Cooper Jones. Uh, Cooper, good morning. Good morning. Uh, most players, when they hear that, do not have the reaction you had. <laughs> most of them have a horrified look on their face, yet you were bouncing along to it. You were like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is my jam. Well, I mean, you know. I can get you a copy of that if you want, man. I just figured it was a good little theme song to the show. Well, he uh, made it for himself, though. Cool. No, yeah, we thing. didn't do that. He Cooper, did that himself. No, he brought that in. He brought that. And said, play this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he makes us play it twice. You'll get to hear it again. Twice. But, so, you know. Just file that away. It gets you in the right head space for hockey. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Von Coyle, good morning. multiple requests at this point to get it down to you guys for the locker room, like, before games. <laughs> yeah, just get you hyped for it. Hype you up. Yeah. Mm. yeah do you nothing, think that would, get would that work? There. Get it down there. (laughs) Give it a try. (laughs) So we've spent the last few minutes here in the studio uh, trying to recap the uh, recent um, the recent win loss record, and of course the mayhem were off this past weekend. Needed some teams to lose, and Alex not on top of it. Cooper (laughs) correcting him left and right. But Cooper's there, so we go. Can you ring the bell for Cooper? Just because he's on point. Yeah, you know, he get a bell ring today. You know, Uh, it was the only weekend that we had off all season, so it was the only time I really was not paying attention to the SPHL. Forgive me for that. That is fair. I went up to Knoxville. Oh, look, you did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I went up to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, oh. near Knoxville. Oh. Just had a little vacation. A little so, cabin time there? Yeah, okay. I paid as little attention to hockey <laughs> as I right. could. Get you some of that Smoky Mountain taffy? Oh, wow. Did you go watch him make the taffy? Oh, they, he watched him make taffy. I didn't do that, taffy. no. He did that. Did you ride no, go-karts? We did a lot of stuff. No, there was go-karts. We didn't do did that. Did you go to Dollywood? We you went would- to... <laughs> <laughs> Jolene. Jolene. I'm sorry. What did you do? We went to this... I'm asking you. Okay. We <laughs> <laughs> We went to this pirate show. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, you we got went sucked the, into the tourist traps. No, it was really cool. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I, don't, I have yeah. no regrets about seeing that. I'm not afraid to admit it either. <laughs> it seems like you hit a trigger point of his we, love of pirates. I think you, I'm gonna let you own that. I'm just gonna leave it alone. That's you. That's on we you. We went boo-boo. to the uh, this Alcatraz East Museum. Oh. We, didn't, we didn't end up staying in there because well, uh, the guy told us that the pirate show was starting in like two hours and, and you, it was gonna take us like three hours in there, so we had to dip out early. Oh, unfortunately. Wow. The Alcatraz but Museum. There's an Al- It's called Alcatraz East. Mm. It's like a crime museum. Oh, that yeah, was pretty neat. That sounds interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? I'm kind of, what, I'm kind what of intrigued by that one. What do they have in a in a crime museum? Well, like I said, we had to leave like as soon as we walked in there. Probably so. some of Capone's hats or yeah, a Tommy Gunn from Dillinger. I mean, I, I mean, I really don't know, man. Wow, I need to find. <laughs> you didn't place. do the uh, you didn't do the Titanic Museum. No, they have that. Yeah, yeah, they have that. Uh, hmm. Which I have a little bit of a problem with. <laughs> I thought everything sink, uh, sunk to the bottom of the ocean. I thought, uh, <laughs> Me too. I have a little bit of a problem with the Titanic um, Museum. It just feels like they're making money off of the death of hundreds of people. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, I have a little bit of a problem with that. Well, now, the crime museum, I'm all in on. Because now it's crime. It's crime. Kind of judging you for the pirate show, though. Don't judge him. Mm-mm. Was it like medieval <laughs> times, but with pirates? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah. that's what uh-huh. I thought. Should we just, it for the rest like, of the show, just this talk is what like I pirates? Thought. Yeah, would that they, make you feel more comfortable? It, the rest of the No. Arr. No, it wouldn't. Game <laughs> tomorrow night, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who the mayhem are playing. Can we do a pirate night? <laughs> That we could pretty... totally do a pirate night with the mayhem. <laughs> oh, gosh. Talk like a pirate night. Inside Charles mu- Olson on the ice oh, announcing God. it. Somebody, Arr, that's a, a tropical smoothie icing. <laughs> Someone's going to have a peg leg. He would <laughs> definitely buy into that, 100%. And a parrot. You'd be Scurvy. having a field day. <laughs> oh, God, I'm glad to see you, sir. Uh, <laughs> Back into the routine. Cooper, yeah. this is normally how it goes. It, it is. It. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is. All right, so we have a game tomorrow night. That's Alex, right. uh, mm-hmm. tell us about the game against Knoxville tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing our fan appreciation night, um, so we're doing discounted tickets. Uh, we're giving away these free uh, metal Mayhem water bottles for the first 50 people who walk through the doors. First Arr, that's a hell of a prize. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus, why'd you start him? <laughs> yep. Um, and, you know, it's How a, much be the tickets? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> They're $10 a $10. Tuesday night, so we're just trying to, you know incentivize people to come out yeah. now uh, that was a rescheduled game that we had previously for I was, yeah i was gonna ask about this hang on i'll i'll pull up the rescheduled date because mm-hmm. if you had tickets for that date they're still good they're, they're obviously still good for yeah. this one 
Uh, this is the makeup date. Hold on, I'm scrolling. As I'm scrolling. he brings us through it. This is the makeup date for the 3-7 game, which was this past Saturday night, which had to be rescheduled due to the GHSA. Mm-hmm. Um, so tonight, if you had tickets for this past Saturday night, they're still good for this yeah. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yep. All right. Yep, you're good. Rock and roll. All right. So uh, any, any predictions, any thoughts for the game? Uh, well, I think well, this is the last time we're playing Knoxville, I believe. Um, yeah. And uh, we just went up there. We have a lot of guys on our team, Cooper included, who used to play there. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, just kind of bad blood and um, guys right. who are going to have an extra jump in their step, I mm. think. So. And the last time <laughs> we not as like, yep. 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 <laughs> and the last time we went up there, you know, it was a narrow two one loss. We really feel like we could have had him. Um, yeah. I think we kinda outplayed him for the most part. It was yeah. just at the onset of a two game road trip against them and then Birmingham on Saturday, who we beat four nothing. So um, you know, tomorrow night it's gonna be it's gonna be uh pretty hectic, I think. We're gonna really be bringing our all. We're Without having uh, had any games this weekend, we're really going to be hungry for points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we're well, we're well rested on top of that. Well, so. I was going to point out, you know, going into the uh, last part of the season, and then you know, vying for that playoff bid, uh, it's it's a good time to get some rest mm-hmm. and uh, heal some bruises and things like that. So, yeah, yeah. I asked uh, Ryan about it, our head coach, and he said absolutely. Like at at a point like this in the season, you really don't expect in the like second, third, or third quarter of the season like this to be able to get a weekend off to get a break usually, like usually there's so many you know three game weekends and stuff like that that you have to deal with so this was a nice little break that we had and a lot of guys who had to heal up all right well cooper jones good morning sir good morning how are you good great tell me uh tell me about you where are you from i'm from bridgewater massachusetts okay um yep yeah, grew up playing in, in boston youth hockey okay when did you first put on a pair of skates sir Ooh, my dad was a hockey coach, so he oh. had me in skates probably at like three. Okay, all right. Seems so three three years old as a literally, yeah. literally his baby picture is in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. He had little tiny skates, yeah. on. little skate booties on, yeah. little skate thought, booties you know, on. Just getting my foot used to. The, yeah, yeah, just got used to it. <laughs> so your dad coached. Yeah, he was did, that yeah. rough growing up, and uh, you know, did he put you through the paces in the backyard? Did you have a backyard rink? Um. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Had a, all right. So they really are like basketball goals, but just for hockey players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just yeah. found out this year that was a thing. Oh, really? Literally having a backyard rink, we had no that's idea a, that people uh, had those. That's awesome. <laughs> so, like that's know. awesome. That's a fascinating concept. Yeah. It's a, they're actually they're so fun. Are they just frozen over pools? Is that what it is? You actually have a pool in the backyard no. and it just freezes over. <laughs> no. no, we didn't have a pool. That would be fun. But it, <laughs> no, that would have been great. No, we had a hockey rink. No, we had a rink, buddy. My dad used to just uh, build like a little rink at a two by four as you put like a plastic sheet in it and pour it water in it and then it freezes over. You let it freeze and, and that's yeah, it. Pretty much, yeah. All right, this, wow. is, this is an amazing concept. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I gotta let you know that. So uh, starting from three years old, dad working you hard, putting you through the paces in the backyard. Uh, tell me about your youth hockey and all of your experiences up to Macon. Uh, well, I would Go. say um, <laughs> I would say my dad put me through the paces in the backyard, but he was my coach all the way actually up until 16 years old. Wow, wow. Same thing with my brother, and we had a great like relationship. It wasn't like he wasn't like hard on me. Good, too okay, good, that. good. He was uh, he was perfect. He was the best thing for me. Um, no, we're gonna ding the bell, the bell for, for that. Dad there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, when I was 16, I got drafted to the Quebec Major Junior League, which is um, a under 20 league uh, in Quebec in Nova Scotia, PEI, New Brunswick, uh, Eastern Canada. So I decided to go there uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is where I played for three years. Um, last year, I was a little bit all over the map, like trying to enter pro, still was junior eligible, and then this season started in Knoxville. I got traded to Evansville, and then a little while, a couple weeks after that, traded to Macon. So that's all right. How, well, that's, uh, welcome we're to here. the mayhem. Now well, we're here. Yeah. yeah. Um, out of those three cities, Evansville, Knoxville, Macon, what do you prefer? The correct answer is Macon, by the way. Yes, Macon. Yes, okay, yes, good. Yes, good. Macon, yes. good, answer. good answer, good answer. <laughs> I was going to prep you on that. Now, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... now, here's an interesting question that we ask all the players that come yes. in. Okay. Uh, we have had to modify it recently. Adjusted it. We've adjusted it. Gotcha. Uh, the question used to be, best hockey movie of all time, okay. Slapshot, Miracle, or Goon. However, we have changed that. Okay. It is now, because I watched Slapshot again, and whew, whew, ain't, ain't age well, Cooper. <laughs> no, uh, no, so we're going to go with Miracle, Goon, or the Mighty Ducks. Oh. See, yeah. If we're going classics, but 
I watched Miracle the other day. It's got to be the best hockey movie. Of all time. Man, that's what all you hockey. It's, I don't want to be the up. typical guy, like typical. That's stereotype. what everybody. No, no, that's fair. But that's but, fair. but I just think it's just no questions asked. But when I was a kid, like Mighty Ducks was the, the best thing ever. See, that's <laughs> what makes it cool. That's why. Yeah, cause, yeah, yeah. Which there? Here we go. Mighty yeah. Ducks was the best yeah. thing ever. Let, right, let down once again. <laughs> that's a fair answer. <laughs> Tony. He want a goon or yeah, yeah. He just, yeah. yeah. He yeah. The correct goon. answer is goon. He's yeah. been dying. The correct for answer is a goon. The correct answer. You should have prepped good. me on that one. No, <laughs> right. he's been nah, dying, dying for somebody to just organically say goon, goon. and, he, yeah. and yeah. they just won't do it. And you know what? Fun fact: goon was filmed in Halifax, where I played junior. So yeah. I was going to ask right. about that. Yeah. What's the team up there? Uh, the team that I played for, yeah, the Moose Halifax Mooseheads. Yeah. The Halifax Mooseheads. That's yeah. not the team in the movie. No, but he's. I think it's the Halifax Highlanders. The Highlanders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Highlanders. yeah stuffed yeah. Angus for a mascot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Speaking of mascots, yeah, your brother's still there, isn't he? Your your, your little brother. Oh, my little brother. Yeah, my little brother Halifax. plays in Halifax. Oh, he still plays right him. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right now, yeah. The Mooseheads. Yeah. 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 Was that named after the beer? Yeah, actually, it was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm nice. For that. Nice. Uh, and we're just gonna name the team after beer. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> the making Bud Lights. Or something like that. <laughs> oh gosh, no, no. You know we are Bud Light Town. Jesus. Be the making uh, hooty poles. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <Lord. laughs> Only northern people get that joke. Okay, well, I only yeah. northern people get that I, joke. Mm, Lord. Mm. So let's talk about the mascot. We have a new Mac. Yeah, apparently we uh, <laughs> we some, somebody uh, he was hired kind of mm, out of the blue last week, um, okay. and we found out I found out about it at least through the fan page when Mac's uh, wife, old Mac's wife, posted on it about us having a new Mac. That's mm. how I found out about it. Okay, so, all right, new Mac. We've, we've got a new Mac. New Mac. <laughs> uh, he'll be debuting on Tuesday. Okay, cool. Tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow mm-hmm. night. And by the way, no line change. This week, that's correct. Because you got so, a hockey game yeah. tomorrow. However, unless in the next twenty four hours, if someone can figure out how to, you know, put me in two places at once. Multiple places. You yeah, I'm not gonna film. put my yeah. effort toward that. Yeah, Just letting you know up front, that's not gonna happen. Well, well Cooper, thanks for being here, thanks, man. Thanks, Coop. Oh yeah, great. Thanks for having me. You'll guys. of course be leaving with parting gifts as yes. we do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you'll get some yes. Odeban and a T-shirt and yeah. some coffee. Yeah, it's probably what it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a bad. That's more than bag. I can ever ask for. <laughs> you don't get the turtle wax, but <laughs> no. everything else is in there. Yeah, Alex, yeah. good to see you. Yeah, man. Thank you. Alex Von Coy. He makes us play this twice. Yeah, you get to hear it again. Feel free to jam out. I mean, you can. I mean, if it's voice, 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 vo